I think comedy and horror are really very close. You're building tension and you're, you're building to relief of something and be it for a laugh or for a scare. I could talk about this for hours, I, you know, I mean, I, the, the link between comedy and horror to me is, is so close. They're not, it's not even, it's not even, they're not even sisters, they're conjoined twins. They're both, to me, the best ways I, I know of for us to deal with our fears. Specifically, I mean, the, really, the fear of death, um, which to me is the ultimate in tension and release, right? Is this idea that we're all, we're all subconsciously, consistently dealing with this, <laughs> this reality. I'm looking at a room of people about to bum out. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, we are in this suspended animation of what comes next, and it is part of the human condition. It's the most terrifying part. It's what wakes us up in the middle of the night. And it's no mistake to me that comedy and horror that um, replicate that, that notion of Pattern, 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 and then we break the pattern, and there is a visceral reaction when we break that pattern. So to me, I think it's very, I just think it's very connected. Good seeing our brother around here. Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. Get out. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! Yo! And so much of the best comedy and horror is about surprise. But I think happening when you don't expect it to happen. Yeah. Well, and, th and that's, again, to, to, to bring it to death, it's like, that's what terror is, right? I mean, th it's the, the fear of the unknown is scarier than the fear of what we know.